I agree, Tom Brady sucks. Josh! It's up, Corbin. I'm Tom Brady. Today we got a um, Kenny Sebastian set again. Again, awesome. Um, I hadn't, hadn't seen him in months, months and now, now we got, got two in a row. Uh, but this one's called Doctors and Medical Students: Why They Can't Find Love. Oh well, really? I don't know. Well, why wouldn't a doctor not be able to find love? Too much work. Could be. They work all the time. They do work all the time. And they're like, especially if they're going through like school. They yeah, don't have time. Well, let's see what Kenny has to say they about don't, it. They don't have time. Let's see what Kenny Especially has to say. Especially in school. Like, right? That's true. No, you can't have a relationship and be in medical school. Well, unless my brother you're doing it, unless you're doing it with the medical students. <laughs> Just like on Grey's Anatomy, am I right? Am I right? I've never seen an episode. Really? Yeah. It's a good show. <laughs> never seen an episode of Grey's Anatomy. Oh my goodness, Grey's Anatomy is a really good show. I always get that one and um, but, um, Gilmore Girls. Grey, Grey's Anatomy has way too much, there's, there's no way they could be practicing doctors and do well at their jobs when they spend so much time in other rooms having sex. What was that? Oh, every, constantly. Yeah, there's every, almost every episode, somebody's in a room, closed the door, and they're, they're going at it. That's how it is in here. That's true. Somebody's always in a room having sex. Yeah. And me and my wife are the only ones that live here. Yeah. I'm glad you clarified that. So it's us. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Any anesthesia doctors? Any anesthesia specialists? Because they're the most important. None of these doctors matter. Because they're like, oh, there's an anesthesia. She's coming. She's coming. Calm down. Cardiology can't cut suddenly. Okay, we're going to wait for it. Bleed. The thing is, uh, it's hard being a doctor. It's very difficult, I understand. Okay? But also, the problem is, doctors are very weird. Because you deal with death all the time. So you become weird. <laughs> My friends whose parents are doctors, no? When I have to go to the car with them, they should never get angry in traffic. <laughs> Which is very weird. <laughs> I agree. They should not get angry in traffic. They should just be calm, they should be like... <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's another organ donor. <laughs> Because you deal with death all the time, it's not a big deal. Huh? So I was in medical college and I was doing um, uh, like a show for them. And the, the campus, the stage was in the middle and the buildings were around. And I'm performing and I noticed half the audience was leaving and then joining again. And then half left again and joining. And I said, like, what's going on? So I addressed it. I was like, uh, what's going on? Why are you guys leaving and coming back? And the medical student was like, actually they have operations. <laughs> so we're doing that and we're coming. What is that smell? Oh, it's intestine. Okay. <laughs> Please close it. Please close the lid. I think we put in fridge and also you close. But you're damn weird. You know, I can't blame it. That's why doctors, if you notice, only marry other doctors. Yeah, because you have to keep the insanity in the same community. <laughs> yes. So they procreate and they just feel like, oh, I feel emotions. <laughs> <laughs> But I, I, I don't blame them, you know, because they don't have time. Like medical students are studying all the time, crying, you know, they just... <laughs> they don't have time. People who do have time can't find love anyway, right? <laughs> they don't have time, so how will they find love? Where do they find love? In a hospital. <laughs> so they find love in a hopeless place. <laughs> Conducive environments like a wedding. Hmm. Wedding is lovely. You go to a wedding, everyone's happy, there's flowers, there's music. So you're like, mm, I want. <laughs> I want. This is nice. <laughs> I don't want to do the work, but I want this. <laughs> Where do you get? Where is the stall? Is there a stall? Is there a stall? Is it... Where do doctors have to find love? In the hospital, right? And the hospital environment is. <laughs> While they're like wheeling in a body with like blood, I bring her to the doctor like, oh hi. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Shh. 
It's difficult to find love. That's why, where do they float? In the hospital, right? Right now, there is an operation going on somewhere where they're operating on someone and the two doctors are nicely flirting. <laughs> you think that's not possible? Raise anatomy, oh, friends. Human, right? That's absolutely true. They're barely, but they're human. <laughs> this guy in the center just like mine. With local anesthesia, because general anesthesia is too mainstream. <laughs> so sleepy, and the two doctors just flirting around. Funny stuff, man. Uh, <laughs> I'd love to, fans. love to see a whole set and love to see him live. Yeah, he's so funny. Uh, yeah, and it's uh, it's true, man. Doctors work a lot. My uh, my brother-in-law is a doctor. I I don't know what kind he is, honestly. He looks at scans all day. I don't know what that is. And like, yeah, I don't know what they're called, but there are there are people that that's that's what they do. The body scans and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they read them and, and give the advice to the doctor. What yeah, they found. Yeah, you go, you guys can tell me what that means. I don't know. Yeah, uh, but that, what is the word for that? I know what the word is for the person that does that. Um, I forget. Anyways, but yeah, they uh, they met in high school, and he, they he stayed together through his schooling, residency, everything. Really, that's, that's like. A 12 year process. Relationships are very, very hard. That's one of the things actually that Grey's Anatomy, the show, does touch upon on how difficult it is to have a relationship with the doctor um, unless you yourself are a doctor. It's kind of like a lot of fields that are very requiring, where, uh, and even if, even if you know it, it's very hard because well, the, the why actors time, often. Actors gravitate to actors a lot of the time or other performers in some way. Especially because, like working ones. Like, yeah, because they understand. They, either, they understand the other person's commitment to it. It's typically artists are with artists because if you're not, non-artists don't understand an artist's commitments and vice versa. And the same thing is true because the hours that are put in by doctors and med students is crazy. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely insane. crazy and stressful. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm, I, I, just, I, I thought about being a doctor once. Did you really? When I was like seven. And then yeah, I that decided, thought never entered my mind. And then I was like, no. I love watching surgeries. I'm, I'm fascinated by what doctors can do. But the thought, the closest I ever came to anything pertaining to medicine in some way was I, I was pretty serious at one point when I was debating the things I wanted to be doing in addition to acting was the thought of being a zoologist and working with gorillas really excited me because mm -hmm. I love gorillas. But the amount of school and math and science and biology. Blah, 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 blah. No, so I just, I spend as much time as I can with gorillas, which is why I agreed to do this channel with you. <laughs> Such an idiot. Anyways. Yeah, they're smarter than you. Let us know uh, what other Kenny Sebastian sets or other stand-up comedy. You're more like a chimp because you throw poop at people you don't like. No, I don't touch poop. You touch your own poop and you throw it at people. I do not. Let us know what other stand-up comedy we can poop. react to down below. Just